and welcome everybody on Twitch and on YouTube on this Monday here. Hey, Nero, thanks for the bits. Uh, for a new donation deck with Selesnia Bugler. I guess that's what I'm going to... That's what I'm naming this deck here because we're, you know, we're a Militia Bugler deck with a lot of Bugler targets here. Um, so... Yeah, so we, we kind of have like our explore package. We're we're an explore deck with our branch walker, wild growth walker, jade light. We got some path of discoveries also to to explore even more. Looks like we're not really allowed to play four of the cards though, uh, which is you know we got lots of threes and everything. So that's pretty good. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I like a Johnny with a Danto Vanguard. I think those two go really well together. Um, and then our land worlds can help us find like some of these other creatures too. I'm not so sure about the Sky Marcher Aspirant, but honestly, just having some flying is kind of good, and maybe we can be um, aggressive and and uh, get there with that card. We'll see. Um, I'm willing to try that one out. Uh, over here, we got 24 lands, which I like having 24 lands. Um, we have three always coming to play tapped lands, which which is kind of a a lot. Um, I don't usually play the Memorials too much. We'll see how they go. Memorial to Glory is a, a good pair with Path of Discovery and Tristani uh, there. So let's let's uh, kind of see how this plays out. So Selesnia Bugler. Yeah, I can show the middle deck really quick. Make sure uh, get ready to take a screenshot. Here you go. And then four, four negates in the sideboard also with those. So there you go. Selesnia Army of Threes. Yep, that's what we got. Yeah, that, that specific deck list is an index because that was a... Um, we had a, a different mill deck... Um, and then we changed we changed the other mill deck at the end of the the league to that. So if you watch the YouTube video with the mill deck, then um, then you can see us talk about that afterwards. And of course, you can find all the YouTube videos at YouTube.com/c/ToddStevensMTG. Hmm. Well, our deck. Uh, doesn't want us to have a good opening seven. Hey, Babalu, going good today. Going good. All right, let's try this one. So you played against something like this earlier today. It was really good, except for against control. I could see that. I could see. I could certainly see control being a struggle with a lot of sweepers because we're playing a lot of creatures. All right, let's try to fill this curve out. Nope, not yet. Biogenic Goose with Path of Discovery is kind of cool. Basically, any creature with Path of Discovery is kind of cool. So we're playing against Sultai, but thankfully they don't have a very fast hand either. So we're not getting run over right away. And I, I want to play Path of Discovery next turn to get the extra uh, explore value on all my things, but... You know, I, I'm hoping they do not have. Uh, hoping they do not have Vivian here, which will be kind of surprising if they don't have Vivian, considering they haven't had like anything else. But I'd certainly like it. Hmm. How this thing goes. Well, that card's a whole lot better than anything we have going on. Lana, we're all here. Too late. All right, so Shalai can fly over and kill Vivian this next turn. Um, if they only have, like, cast down for other removal. Um, and then also Shalai can protect Biogenic the Ooze. Are my shield. Hmm. And this is where... 
Vivian will probably take over. You know, we saw Vivian just tick up and get a Krasis. He gets to just keep ticking up every turn and get more and more things. Um, one, two, three, four. If I keep a Johnny, I do not get to activate Ooze and have a Johnny. Uh, but a Johnny can not really help very much. No one knows the wilds like I do. Right now they can have a 4-4 crisis, but certainly assuming they have a land. Okay, so they can have a 5-5 crisis. They may want to wait on that another turn, though, because it's, it's usually good to have even number crisis. Yeah, poor Johnny. We need Ooze to, like, just really take over this game. Hey, Phoenix. Thanks for that resub for the third month in a row. Vivian's a hell of a card. All right. For us to compete here, we certainly need either our own Vivian's or Immortal Sun, one of the two. Um, hey, hi, Shin. Good evening. Don't think we're going to compete without one of those. So I, I definitely want Settle. It's, it's kind of hard for us to play Immortal Sun and not have like a Johnny, Karn, Vivian, that kind of stuff. Let's just play Settle and Vivian. Take out Path of Discovery with them having their own Vivian that kills it very easily. Take out Shalai. As another flyer that gets dinged up. No, I haven't paid attention to Modern. Um... Huh. If I play all the Vivians, I probably can't play Biogenicus also. Or Tristani. Like, I, I probably can't play all of those. I can cut some Tristanis. Trist Tristani's honestly not very good in this matchup. Um, it is good against Hostage Taker, I suppose, if they're playing Hostage Taker. Got two, two Tristanis and an Ajani. All right, this one's good. Um, no, nah, we don't need that. We already got a good one, two, three, and then, you know, Karn can be four. So, like, we, ha we have a good first one through four turns if we hit our land drop. So we'll put that spell down to the bottom and look for more lands. There we go. Hmm. So we need Jade Light to find at least one land to get to Karn because then Karn usually finds lands. So anything that's not a land here, I'm, I'm putting in the graveyard. I want to play Karn next turn. Well, that was worst case scenario. I'll 
if we get a land next. I think adding blue blue for just Krasis in this deck might be worth it. I mean, yeah, it's hard it's hard to say it wouldn't be worth it. Um, with how good Krasis is. I guess I can just play Biogenicus already. Let's just do that. Hey, Colin. Thanks for resubbing there for the second month. Yeah, with them not having any removal spells, I could just attack and get the land anyway. Yeah, Krasis is kind of good enough to just jam in all the decks. By the choices we make, reveal who we are. And Ulk also with that resub for the six month in a row. Yeah, we're gonna get lots of resubs today with uh with how the like the way that sub streaks have been reset today, but nothing I'm complaining about. Thanks, thanks for the support, everybody, and I do appreciate it. We're gonna be cracking open some packs today. Get another one here after this match. So six months in a row, or well, I guess not necessarily in a row now, but yeah, three and three month streak. There we go. Okay, we've been playing Emergency Power Smothering Tithe. Nice. Is that... Why is that weird, Sculpted Mind? So besides Ooze just kind of breaking through, A curious choice. Um, not sure exactly how we're going to do, how else we're going to break through. They're down to seven though. Next turn we can start making two Oozes. Uses. All hands on deck. I'll be taking that. No, sub the subs aren't okay, the subs aren't like reset. It's um no, yeah, so if you're subscribed before you're still subscribed. Just like how they how track An excellent choice. Um whether you have like uh streaks has been reset. Or like it's not like reset as in like things that were numbers go to go to zero. Reset's the wrong word. They have been changed. Uh, um. Yeah. So like now it's not streaks aren't only counted as like Your months in a row anymore. All right, so Karn leaving us is, is pretty bad because that means that the, the Vivian's gone too. Not able to get the Vivian. But we do have, like, this Adanto, the first fort that's transformed. The game crashed after 250-plus treasure tokens. Hey, third month reset, or third month sub for Death's... Uh, Thanks, Death. All 
Alright, let's bump that up to 11. <laughs> yeah, Karn was getting pretty close up there to that ultimate, to the minus 14. <laughs> Wrong Karn, but... Checked out. Alright, so they have Vraska as well. Hmm. Anything I want to change? Welcome back, Babalu. Don't think so. The problem with the Immortal Sun is it shuts off our planeswalkers too, so we'd have to we'd have to take out all of our planeswalkers um, to try Immortal Sunning. We we have had three really really bad sevens, so we've we've had to mulligan to six every single game. Um, and that's been that's been tough. This is the problem with having these tap lands. Uh, tap lands with like Llanowar Elf and stuff. You know we. We could have turn two Jade Light, turn three Karn, but we have Tranquil Expanse and Memorial to, to Glory. Okay, well that's that's kind of good for us that we can just throw in a, a tap land and not have to worry about it too much. Oh, uh, thanks for the kinds of words, Babylon. Where's Vivian at? Um, graveyard. Thief of Sandy is such a good card. We have a big weakness to flyers here with our with our deck. Especially early flyer like that. I have faced worse than the likes of you. Alright, so we need Karn to help us dig towards a Vivian to take out this thief. Uh, we could also have like a Shalai. as well. They can block it, but I'm sure they'll have removal spells for Shalai. Well, they found Vivian. That was our Vivian. I've seen Let's see if you're worthy. Well chosen. And unfortunately, Tristani does not get back. Um, Tristani does not get back. Uh, Planeswalkers. That'd been that'd be awesome. If I play Shalai, Shalai just gets you know they just minus their Vivian, kill Shalai. It doesn't doesn't help us out too much. So maybe I can play like a Danto Vanguard that can pressure the Vivian. Alright, so me and my wife are looking for uh, mobile options for Arena. Do you have any opinion about Surface Pro Series? I don't have any opinion on that. I don't know anything Come about... To me. I honestly don't know what Surface Pro Series even is. So um, maybe somebody in chat has some good opinion on that for you. Hey Suzu, welcome back for the second month. Best dress, best beh best behave, pleasure to watch. Oh, thanks, thanks Suzu. There is always another fight. Uh, so why is Thief of Sanity getting so much more play? Because the just the color, 
the colors blue and black are seeing a whole lot more play than they were before. Um, with you know Hydroid Crisis making the Golgari decks go turn into blue, it just makes uh, Thief of Sanity being an easy card to to add into their decks, and then uh, Esper gaining so many cards from the newest set as well. Just Steve Sandy just fits in these decks now. All right, 0 and 1. We got Soul Tide. Oh, pack time. Right. I have to remember we're gonna have to get a good amount of packs today. Alright. So our next pack is from Dominaria. That's what we're doing for this one. Just kind of going down the line here. Alright, Dominaria pack. Soul tie means uh green, black, and blue. That was the deck we were just playing against was a Soul tie deck. Sultai is like just kind of traditionally one of Magic players' favorite color combinations. Everybody wants like Sultai decks to be good. Um, we we finally do have a good Sultai deck. Sultai hasn't been a, a great three color combination in a you know for a while. So we'll see if people still like Sultai. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you can donate your deck anytime. Uh, if you'd like to see it, your your deck played here, uh, like this deck that we're playing right now is a donation deck. Uh, information about that down below in the info panel. You can click that donate link there. Just click the banner. <laughs> you don't want anything green to be good. Poor green. All right, I love having a one drop and then a Johnny also on the play. Blue is my least favorite of the colors. I just realized we don't even have the mana to cast a Johnny though. So, may not get to actually have a Johnny on turn four. Later instead of ladder. I want to get that second white source down for a Johnny. Unfortunately, it's it's again it's a tap land, so we don't get to actually a Johnny here. You know. That's an untapped white source. We'd get to play a Johnny and be in a better spot attacking with that bugler right there. Hey, there you go, Matthew. Very nice. I went a pack and got a dove in and a treasure chest. All right, this should ascend us, uh, allow us to swing in the air with this thing. And then they can double block. And trade with one of those. Oh, I guess they can double block and just kill the bugler and not trade with it. But they're taking a lot of damage if they do that. Alright, gotta play a Johnny next turn and tick up on uh, the Tristani and the bugler. Get them out of finality range. I, I got to wait a turn because of that. Oh, because they didn't have the mana. So Tristani's like a kind of a better play for us, but I understand you are in need of support. I am worried Deliver about us to victory. I am worried about uh, finality. So I'm saving Tristani. He's playing Tristani there just. It's just 
really opens this up to getting blown out. Hey, Wilson. Yeah, no, I understand that you're making a reference to the title, Vraska, but I don't, I don't understand. I'm saying we're featuring ranked later, not... I mean, ranked and ladder are the same thing. So saying featuring ranked ladder, that's, that's just saying... You're f featuring the same, the same thing twice. Like that's not. You need to say ranked and ladder. There's not non-ranked ladder. There's not ranked non-ladder. So, we're not doing the ranked stuff right away. So that's why I have later. All right. So Sultai again. Get these settles in again. Um, oh, you're joking? Oh, I didn't. Uh, it's too hard to tell. My bad. Uh, hey, Boot. Doing good. We got Monday here. 29 months. I guess that's how long I've been streaming. Cyclo with the tier three sub. All right, let me let me finish Cyborg here. Actually, maybe let's try Immortal Sun. Let's try Immortal Sun Spyglass. Actually, I don't think that the Planeswalkers helped me out too much last time. Let's let's go with this instead, and maybe keep Path of Discovery and then. Yeah, let's try this. Cyclo with the tier three sub. So yeah, every month you're a tier 3 sub, you get to pick a deck uh, for me to play. You get to pick a donation deck each month. Is that That's number 15 today. Let's see. I mean, I want to keep this. I love like, having the land where I was right away, but it's certainly risky. Like We need to draw land, but I, I really like our hand. I kind of want to keep it. Like, we're on the draw, so we have, like, two draws to get a second land. Uh, we'll just go to six. I feel like being... This one's pretty good, too. I feel like being up a game, we can be a little risky. Hey, okay. Um, question for you. Why do you think nobody is playing Mardu Angels? I love that deck and it seems very strong. Um, it's possible other people haven't really discovered it yet. Uh, besides people that watch the stream here. You know, there hasn't been results in, in tournaments or anything. So if people don't watch my stream and haven't seen it, then, uh, then yeah, they probably haven't really discovered it too much. All right, so this is down to 81, and this is at 15. Where's the OK button? There it is. I don't think our opponent's going to have any, like, minus two, minus two thing there. So I think that's kind of a free block. Uh, yeah. I want Path of Discovery. And we can shut off Vivian. Choop, choop, find. All right, so we're going to get our creatures killed. Of 
cool. Join the Discord? Awesome. The Discord? That's... That's something that's on my to-do list is uh, kind of reinventing the disc the Discord and um, uh, getting, you know, more chal channels uh, there in the Discord. Yep, you can find it right in there, Sculpted, or uh, KY. Yep, Sculpted Mine got you there. Ooh. Bum bum. Ooh, I want that car, but I don't have any lands. Wait, I'm just going to do library, because I'm going to have to tr trigger Bugler here. Um, so I can just put it down to the bottom of the library. So we'll just go library and then bugler. Grab that. Because I, I want it in the deck still. So in case we shuffle with something, you know, like our opponent assassin's trophies or something. Shouldn't I stack the... Yeah, yeah, you're, you're probably right. The trigger order. Yeah, I probably should. I don't... Um... I'm not exactly sure how to do that, and I'm currently petting Hawkeye. So... I don't have it taken care of, but I probably should. For Especially, like, Bugler with Path to Discovery. It, it's certainly better to... Um... It's better to do the the bugler trigger first and then path to discovery after. Escape gameplay that Um, all right, let's just get the chupacabras out of here forever. We don't have to worry about those things coming back with Memorial of Folly, Find Finality, all that kind of stuff. So those troops are out of here. Yeah, showing settle with explorer is, is certainly not good. So our settle, that is very true. Our settle was not a very good settle. Legion's landing with Path of Discovery, though, is sweet. Yeah, so I haven't been wanting to play the Ooze because of the finality, because it makes their them casting finality really easy, really good for them. So I'm attacking with some creatures here. Why are they not just... They have, like, a free block with Wild Breath Walker. I mean... I guess they're just scared of um, whatever the last card in my hand is. <laughs> yep, we had to settle for a mediocre settle. Exactly.
Yeah, exploring with these things is pretty awesome. Alright, so they got the finality out of their hand. Let's go ahead and go with the ooze. Good, good, good. Like seeing that. We don't want to see removal. All right, not a removal spell. Uh, which also it's kind of annoying here. Hmm. They're keeping the ritual of set. Kind of force them to to cast it. Down. Or I guess I don't know if we're really forcing them to cast it, but let's keep playing things out. Yeah, like we're only playing one Sky Marcher Aspirant. Yeah, it kills all their non Carnage Tyrant stuff. And we can just keep on. Now we can make. Uh, we can make an ooze and an Adanto creature every single turn. So like we can just kind of sit back. Um they have Wild Growth Walker still. We have Biogenic Ooze. We're looking better. Oh, yeah. Another Path of Discovery? Absolutely. Yeah, that was a really good trade for us. Especially, like, we have this... Adanto, the first forward, is just going to take over this game. This is really cool, Adanto with Path of Discovery. We'll just gain two. And our opponent's just never going to be able to use this Ritual of so They just kept that card on top, but it's never going to be, like, good for them to use, basically. You think they drew Vivian? Oh man, Wild Growth Walker, please. Give me this Wild Growth Walker. Sure. Pretty crazy how like the um all right we don't need to do this what's that an auto trigger pretty crazy how uh the carnage tyrant just doesn't really matter All right, I'm not activating the Biogenic Ooze here because I'm, I'm expecting our opponent to cast the Ritual of Set. Or, you know, so that we can Ooze and Adanto afterwards. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is kind of weird winning this match. To be fair, our opponent is not playing blue, which has helped out. Our opponent has not had, like, Hydroid Crisis or anything. Like that. We are going to have so much life. All right, so they have to... I was going to say they have to cast Ritual set next turn, but are they dead? I don't know. The opponent may be dead. Sure. <laughs> we're so while, we're gonna have two more explorers while growth walker is gonna gain six more life even bigger we're gonna attack with everything they're gonna have to chump with both their creatures deck's going okay so we're one and one we we lost the soul tie um we did mulligan to six every single game uh but two of the games we got ran over one we did good and then we just beat golgari uh where our hands were pretty good and Path of Discovery looked awesome there that game. Why is a Johnny so often in the sideboard? Like, what do I need it against? Uh, usually, when a Johnny's in the sideboard of decks, uh, it's usually in the sideboard of aggro decks where you, you bring it in whenever people uh, have more removal to kill your creatures, and a Johnny can bring bring back those creatures. Or a Johnny. Uh, Johnny's also really good in, in matches that are um, kind of turned into board stalls with uh, combat, because making your creatures bigger is how you win combat. Um, but mostly when a Johnny's in the sideboard, it's for an, an aggro deck to beat a control deck. Yeah, the Tristani tokens would also explore there, yeah. So we would have had two more explore triggers there, gained another six life. Yeah, they're going to have to chump with, with not only the Carnage Tyrant, but then also a 7-6 Wild Growth Walker was also going to be chumping that turn. All right, so we'll play a Johnny next turn and start popping up these uh, two creatures and play. Oh, that's right. We had two of the enchantments. So, yeah, it was going to be four more. That's right. We had two enchantments. That's really bad. So, if I play a Johnny and tick up on both and they cast down... They still don't kill a Johnny. So actually, we're fine. We can block. Either of these no can block uh, Jade Light. What I see in you. Even if they have, like, cast down plus two mana explorer and make the Wild Growth a 4 6, uh, Wild Growth is still not killing a Johnny here. And then next turn, we can have Tristani and play some more D. A lot of times the those aggro decks don't want the four mana card in game one because game one they want to be as explosive as possible with having just a, a ton of um, uh, a ton of you know cheap threats and everything and, and really go under opponents. But then in post board games, opponents are more ready for that with how they bring in more removal, and so that's where you want that's where you want a Johnny. Then afterwards is in the post board game. Games play out different. Games uh Pre-board and post-board games play out differently. Look how far you have come. All right, we got Tristani out of finality range. I'm glad they used their Chupacabra because cast down cannot kill Tristani. 
with it being legendary. Next turn I can play Shalai and, and tick up on Shalai also and make it make Shalai out of finality range. I didn't really want to play Shalai here first though, because I thought it was uh a little too dangerous for trying to protect a Johnny. Night Reaper is really annoying. And Johnny goes to one. I don't think I can even play Shalai here. I think we need the multiple bodies, so back to Biogenic Ooze. You are capable of more than you assume. If you're given the task to come up with a way of improving the mana system in MTG so it feels fair and less frustrating when it goes bad, what would you do? I would not change anything. I think the mana system in MTG is perfect, and it's the reason why Magic has been uh, a thriving card game for, you know, since 93, however many years that is. I think that there, there's the right amount of variance and um, making it making it better would not actually in increase the uh i don't think it would benefit the game you can't let's tear this place apart. i think the the mana system is just in the has the exact perfect amount of variance for it to be uh the game that it is So I can minus and get back a branch walker. If I play Shalai, they just Vivian minus and kill the Shalai. If I'm not playing Shalai, what am I doing? I'm playing Karn and ticking up. Surely gonna make this ooze a six six and attack with it. Just chump with the jade light. Strength is born of struggle. Of that laser. That's those are two good cards to hit. So like you know we get we get to play one of them. That's good. 
I couldn't. I couldn't Balance do. Oh, counts. double ooze attack? No, I'm not. I'm not attacking with the biogenic ooze. I don't think. I don't think that's good to trade biogenic ooze. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I should with Vivian. So next turn I can play like Shalai and Aspirant. Yeah, you can use both. Yep, you can use as many Planeswalkers as you have. You, planeswalkers... A single Planeswalker can only be used once each turn, but however many Planeswalkers you have, you can eat, use them each once that turn. Certainly playing Shalai this turn. Uh, Shalai doesn't really play around like the other removal because they can minus Vivian to kill Shalai. Um, so like I just play Shalai, they they just use an activated ability of their Planeswalker to kill it. So it doesn't really help me out that much by playing it. But playing the Karn on the battlefield means that I get to uh, get to start acquiring cards with it. I guess I'm not. I'm no. I can't really attack. Vivian here. I'm going to play Shalai and Aspirant. Sky Marcher Aspirant. I'm going to get two flyers on the battlefield um, and then sit back with all four of these creatures. I hope my opponent sits back and does not attack. That is not what I wanted them to do. So really hoping they would sit back, because then I would be able to uh, activate Biogenic Ooze. Your patience is rewarded. So Johnny's at five right now. So Vivian kills Shalai. Yeah, I just I have to get back a branch walker. You can still fight. Hey Hog. Uh, I've been using your Mardu Angels till gold and ranked, and now your Esper to climb further to meet as I meet more control now. Feels like amazing decks play. Thanks for your inspiration. Love all the angels. Awesome. Sounds good, Hogs. Yeah, that's that sounds uh, really good. Yeah, I have time for a donation deck today or tomorrow. Either one. Um, I can. I don't need to play the Mono White Judith today. That'd be the deck I can bump. Correct. Ooze tokens have zero CMC. Yep. Okay, they have not activated Vivian yet. So they just had even more Explorer stuff in their hand. I certainly regret attacking with that 6-6. Six -six. I think that that ended up being a pretty bad attack. How we had to chump block the land where Elf couldn't couldn't uh, kill their Wild Growth Walker. We attacked back. Yeah, unfortunately, this is game one, so I, I just don't have... I have zero removal for these Wild Growth Walkers in game one, so it's going to be really tough to beat them. Thankfully, their hand is mostly all lands right now. We don't know anything about the other two cards. They did not activate Vivian. To 
They did not activate Vivian. Be strong. So I have, to, I have to attack with the two flyers to kill Vivian no matter what. I want to I want to have like the best defense I can. Every defeat after is killing a new Vivian. <laughs> Don't give me a punt. So we're pumping up some of these other creatures. Yeah, and uh, I guess I should maybe pump up Aspirate to try to get it out of finality range. Next turn, I can activate Shalai and, and take up a, jo a Johnny and get it out of finality range. I think that's probably the most important thing is get as many creatures as I can out of finality. Hey, Grayson. Half a year. My time flies. Really appreciate the content you do, even if I don't see uh, modern as much anymore, but still love your insight on standard. Thanks, Grayson. All right, so Shalai's dead, unfortunately. Duck action fist. Gifting a sub to duck eight. <laughs> Bunch of ducks. Thank you so much, duck action fist. How do you win? Ultimate? Yeah, probably ulting a Johnny, I guess. Good choice. Good choice. We also have, we have like Path of Discovery, which will help us out. Um... All right, let's get a Danto Vanguard out of that range, and then Sky Marcher Aspirin. Let's start taking that up. You my strength. Wow, Genikus can help win as well. Ducks are helping each other out. Oh, it's Dirk. Dirk action fist. That was Duck. Yeah, this is a big board state. <laughs> we have an 11 turn clock with our 5 power flyer. Mr. says, hey, Todd, I want to thank you for being so awesome. You have reignited my love for magic, and I really enjoy watching your streams and YouTube videos. Thanks, mister. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, wasn't that nice, Hawkeye? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, I guess the record's still seven oozes. Yeah, we haven't beaten that record before, so. Yeah, it's still gotta be seven oozes. Alright, another Midnight Reaper. So we have another Tristani we can go get. Certain of your decision. Strength is born of struggle.
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven oozes again. So we, we have tied the record for oozes that we've ever had. So right now, finality kills only this little token, this little construct. That's the only thing that finality would kill. They are Sultai. Did they? No, they've had they've had blue mana forever. Never mind, they've had blue mana forever. Yeah, we've known that. Last match, they were not Sultai. All right, so we got our third ooze. You are capable of more than you assume. Um, I probably don't attack. Ten oozes, double digit oozes. Um, Yeah, if I attack here, they can not they can just not block and then kill a Johnny. If I make this attack. If I don't attack, I can try to block and save a Johnny. You know, a Johnny will take one. So good no attacks. I mean, pretty soon, like, they're, they're 43 life. Like, with double Midnight Reaper, we can kind of kill them. The biggest dudes is a 16-16. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. No one said that's why I kind of wanted to just to attack. Painless. I don't know if there's anything really good for me to get with the bugler if I minus and get bugler. I hope you find your path. Path of discovery is like the, the best card for me to find. Uh, four, eight, twelve. Token. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Thing is, the attacks just kind of get better for us the longer we wait.
You know, like next turn's attack is just looks a whole lot better than this turn's attack, kind of thing. They don't have enough mana to really play a lot of things. If I attack with just one big ooze, they can like make like kind of good blocks. Like they can like double block and kill it, kind of thing. If I wait and attack with all of these things, they can't just double block, you know, anything. Meet my newest friend. The attacks just get better for me. Like I'm, my board's getting better every turn. Every turn I'm making three, three six, three new six sixes to the opponent's not, and then also giving plus putting three one one counters on like all these creatures. So like. Every turn we wait, it's just kind of better for us. All right, so that thing puts a clock on us, I suppose. So I guess I guess I need to start making an attack next turn because I guess we are dead in two turns. I was thinking the Krasis was going to kill my Karn. Bugler can find Jade Light Ranger, which can gain us six life. Hey, James. Seven for two months. Thanks, James. Could potentially mill them out. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. If they block with all of, if all their things die, that draws them 22 cards. What's this board? This is an ooze board. We are oozing real hard. Lost. Haven't lost yet. Haven't lost yet. Yeah, it's certainly time to attack with everything. Nothing is ever truly lost. Jade lights. Okay, we just don't we don't just don't have jade lights in our deck. Well, we saw one earlier. So they're at 22 cards in library. So we need 11 creatures to die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah. Hey, how these are resetting. 3, 6, 9, 12. So they have 12 creatures. So if 11 of their 12 creatures die, they lose from getting milled out. So right now their Wild wow Growth Walker is not dying. Neither is that Wild wow Growth Walker. They have two Wild wow Growth Walkers not dying with these blocks. 
We need to we need to hit a Jade Light Ranger with one of these buglers. You know, we had three other Jade Light Rangers in our deck. Um, even a Branch Walker. A Branch Walker would have gained us three life also. So we had to hit one of one of our Explore cards. Uh, we just haven't haven't seen any. Alright, so they have nine creatures die. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, two more, seventeen, eighteen. Exactly eighteen triggers. Whew. They Yeah, exactly eighteen triggers. Exactly lethal from 64. Way down, way down. Yeah, they could have had Krasis block the 4 2 Vanguard. Um, and then had, like, they had the Midnight Reaper block the 4 2 Vanguard. They could have had Krasis block the 4 2 Vanguard. And then the Reaper block one of these, like, 6 6s. And they could have stayed alive. Shift, enter to auto pass. Shift, enter. Yeah, but see, this, see, even if I auto pass, it doesn't matter. I have to click resolve each one of these because I have a Danto Vanguard that can activate. Verishada with the tier 3 sub for the second month in a row. Welcome back, Verishada. Let's get some hype in the channel for Verishada with a tier 3 sub. All right, nice game one. So we're going to bring in Settle, Spyglass, Immortal Sun. This worked out last time. Um, cutting Tristani, Karn, and Ajani. Zexion, welcome back yet again. On Twitch Prime for the second month. Thanks, Xian. Um, a left shift plus enter. Oh yeah, well we had we had response triggers though. Like that's the thing is we had we had things that we could respond with with a Danto Vanguard paying for life. Uh, let's see. That's what I did last time. I kind of want these Conclave Tribunals. But. Oh well. I kind of want the Conclave Tribunals. Yeah, let's play those over Vanguard. Vanguard's not going to be very good without a Johnny. So I'm bringing in Immortal Sun and Spyglass. I'm I'm wanting to name Vivian with Spyglass. Uh, I'm gonna try to shut down Vivian with Spyglass and Immortal Sun. So I'm not gonna have my own. I'll have Conclave Tribunal is really good against Krasis. How it just exiles it. See, so yeah, I'm I'm trying to have Vivian not be able to be activated here. That's my goal. Um, I could certainly see 25 lands being being where we want to be. You know me, I always like I always like more lands. Yeah, I'd rather have an extra land than one few land. I've been playing your Legends deck, and I was wondering why you run Weatherlight. Um. 
it is it is not it does not have a low mana curve <laughs> that 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 deck does does not have a low mana curve at all um ha 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 cake <laughs> that's fun to say thanks for subscribing there with the trime uh let's go graveyard That gets some hype in the chat. There we go. Uh, let's see. No text. Um, but Weatherlight is just kind of like an, another card to play that doesn't... Uh, won't get swept up by a sweeper. And um, like when you like your other creatures do. And I don't know. It's just kind of a cool card. I like the card. Just basically why I have it in there. <laughs> your last game convinced me to sub. Aw, oh, thanks. Thanks, Cake. Uh, what do you think of a lumbering battlement in something like this? I don't think lumbering battlement is very good in constructed. I don't know. I could be wrong there. Um, but I'm I'm not thrilled about it. Well, I want to tribunal the wild growth walker, but I also want to tribunal this crisis, and we only have one tribunal, so I guess I'm just gonna jade light and. I guess I'm going to be saving it for the crisis. Gosh, I just don't have lands. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, not going to get the forest for the land war elf. Um, and I'm not attacking here, even though I I could attack with my three creatures and flip Legion's landing, but I don't think we need to do that. No, we don't want to play Honor Guard in our deck. Our, our deck is built around things with ETB abilities. Like, we have all the same Explore creatures they do. We have Bugler. Uh, we have Tristani. Biogenic Ooze. We, we do not want to have Honor Guard in our deck. But no, I, Naya Legends is the kind of deck from, from before. that you, you need to have at least four lands, like, at minimum. So I, I don't think that that deck's land-heavy. Are they just going to cast down Wild Growth Walker and then this is a chump block? It's the only way this attack makes sense is if they have a cast down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... Well, I guess I could just block with this thing. I'll just have them bounce off each other. Because I, I want the Branch Walker, Jade Light, and Token to attack and flip the landing. is my hero. I have not played the, the Dovin from the Planeswalker set. Planeswalker ever. I have not really read that card. I couldn't tell you what it does. Alright, not blocking the fourth not blocking the one one, the four three. I've not been happy with these Buglers in our deck. And they've been whiffing a little too much for me. <laughs> Landing's just a bad use ability, basically. Alright, so they did have the cast down that we kind of predicted from before. I may need to just tribunal this Wild Growth Walker, even though I don't want to. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll wait till afterwards, J Jack, with the playing, but um, right now, Bugler has been my least favorite card. 
I've been pleasantly surprised with, or pleasantly pleased with Sky Marcher Aspirant. Um. Hey, nerd girl. Happy Monday. Yeah, I'll kind of go go over stuff at, at the end. Uh, you know, whenever we get some more playing in. Third month in a row. Welcome back. Thanks for everything. Um, any attacks? Anything else? No. I guess I may have to just tribunal the the Vivian. I I want to draw more tribunals. That's what I want. Or the Immortal Sun would be awesome. I'd love to draw the Immortal Sun. Just finished my first match with Esper Angels in the ranked queue. Man, the deck is so good. Mardu and Esper are my favorite decks. Awesome, Sculpted Mind. Or did you play the the new list that I just uploaded today with Esper? Or did you play the one from the last time I streamed? No one knows wild animals I like. People? Not so much. The six mana Dovin has an ultimate that's just sleep. Not the best ultimate. The Nia Angels deck has worked really well in Best of One Ladder, but for some reason the Esper Angels deck doesn't work, like, at all. Makes sense. Esper has a really good sideboard, uh, so that, that kind of makes sense there. I can just take it. Alright, so how can I... Alright, we gotta get rid of this Vivian. So if we attack out. They block both my oozes and Vivian's dead. And I have no more ooze. All right, Vivian dead. I'm. I guess. I could. I, I guess how I tapped. I can't activate Biogenic Ooze now. But I'm planning on activating a Danto uh, to make a Chump Blocker for Wild Growth Walker. Because the Chump Blocker from a Danto will will have Life Link, so I can gain with gain one. I always survive. You'll see. All right, so we took out the Vivian. <sighs> More Vivians. That one can red go ahead and minus immediately on the Conclave Tribunal and let them gain another 6 life. We need to draw that Path of Discovery like we did that that other game. I 
like main boarding the Immortal Sun and Honor Guards. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's what I was going to try the, the next time. That's pretty good. The problem with playing Biogenic is I don't get to do anything else. So I can either just like make a news or... Yeah, we're still doing it. Hope they don't have finality this turn, which I don't think they will because they haven't had land drops. So I, I don't I don't think they would just suddenly have a land in hand when we know they're drawing the Vivian. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. You can't stop nature. Hmm. If I attack out at Vivian, uh, Wow Growth kills 6-6. Six, six. Jade Light probably blocks 4-4. Four, four. Vivian takes 4. Jade Light's gone. I have both my oozes are gone. Then I make two more oozes that turn into 4-4s. Four, if I don't attack out. So, certainly going to make the two more oozes. Oh wait, I can only make one ooze. So I, I can only make one ooze. Because it, it's triple green to make an ooze, so we, we only have enough green to make one right now. Oh, I do have another green with Elf. Good, good call, good call. And then if Elf's making... I forgot about the Elf. If Elf's making a news, then, it's, then it def does not... does not make a lot of sense to attack here. So we'll wait a turn. I missed... So I missed an ooze at the end of last end step because of the Lanwar Elf. Yeah, I forgot about that land war elf. Could have just done that during my turn. Had another ooze. Yeah. I could see my opponent playing finality here. So why didn't I just conclave the Vivian whenever I took the Jade Light? Because because we got to get a creature off of their the battlefield there and draw um, and fire. And kill their Vivian. So we got to instead of just Getting rid of the Vivian, we gotta get rid of both. It's gonna be really tough to beat this Hydroid Crisis. Like, if they have finality. Hmm. Okay, okay. Alright, so let's, let's go ahead and go to attacks. All those coming in. Ha! I've seen worse.
If I make them now... I just gotta make them now. I know it's not as good against finality, like, you know, waiting, waiting's better against finality, but getting the extra, the extra counters on there is just too important. Finality does, you know, kill both their Jade Light Rangers, because presumably they'll save the Krasis. Gotta draw another Tribunal. Or settle. We have the settles in the deck. Um, that'd be good. Why does Wild Growth Warcraft to put him at 50 life? Ooh. That's good. I don't know how good. It's kind of good. Uh, get another life linker out there. Oh, I tap too much. If I attack with that Biogenic Ooze, the 11-11, they go Walker and Jade Light in front of it. Yeah, I think I need to. I have this turn and next turn for attacks. So I, I don't think I can sit back. Please don't have finality. Please don't have finality. Okay. I think Turbo Fog is really good in best of one, but not not nearly as strong in, in best of three. I'm really glad they used it on that 3-2 flyer. That 3-2 flyer that we just had there did not really do very much for us. It didn't block these crises at all. Um, so I'm really glad they used it there and not on Tristani. With that Contempt. Or just, you know, like one of the really big oozes or something. We'll see what else they got. They didn't make the best block last time. Like, they had, like, their 6-6 six, six block, uh, block the 3-2 branch walker instead of blocking one of these 5-5 five, five oozes. Now, now, like, these oozes are 7-7s. Seven, like, these were 5-5s five, last turn. They could have blocked with their 6-6. Six, six, but they blocked a 3-2 crisis instead. All right, so they get to block the four biggest things, and they take 14, 16, 18, 21. They take exactly 21. Wow, we're going to have exactly lethal again. Two games in a row of exact lethal right before we take lethal. If 
Finality would not have won. Their crises would have been too small. Then, but maybe it wins the next turn. Because remember, it, Finality there would shrink their Krasi. But Chupacabra would have been better for them to play instead of Contempt. You know, if, if they would have cast the Find and got Branchwalker Chupacabra and just played Chupacabra, then they would win. And if they would kill, like, you know, something else besides the 3 2, also. Opponent had a lot of ways to win this. But it looks like we're going to have exactly 21 again. Just like last turn, we had exactly 64. Last match, last game, we had exactly 64. This time, we have exactly 21. Crazy games there. And we get a pack for it, which is perfect because we need to open a pack for our last sub goal. So perfect. Alright, pack time. Uh, just the 20 gems. I already have the rare, so any rare is just 20 gems. We're hoping to get mythics. Alright, two and one. We have played against Sultai, Golgari, and then Sultai. So hopefully we play against something else. I haven't played any Wayward Sortooth decks since RNA came out. Um, but I, I had a couple that I played a little bit uh, in the last standard format. I like Wayward Sortooth as a card. I've played it in like an... Uh, I had like a Selesnia control deck that was just focused on getting lots of lands in play. And there's of course the the classic uh, experimental frenzy with Wayward Sortooth. All right, good time to draw a Tranquil Expanse. Doesn't look like we're playing against Golgari yet again, but you never know. They can still go Forest Wild Growth Walker here. Hmm. Doesn't doesn't seem like it though. Yeah, absolutely. March of the Multitudes is a playable card. Absolutely. I've seen it in like Bant tokens and Bant flash decks, and they've looked pretty impressive. Yeah, it looks like it's a Drake's. It's the most likely deck right about now. It's this mountain. Hmm. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Subbing for the second month. Getting that. Getting those two months in. Thanks, Aqua Teen. Uh, we'll get JR. JR can do some work with uh, the. We have the Wild Growth Walker in our graveyard that we can use a Johnny and, and get back Wild Growth Walker and then Jade Light if we want some like life gain. That turns into something we want to do with our life. Too slow? No. Good care of me. All right. So next turn plan is like Tristani. I think get some life linkers out there. I certainly do want 
want to get wild growth walker maybe the plan is just a johnny minus put wild growth walker into play with this path of discovery because wild growth with path of discovery is pretty brutal the the big problem is is they'll have a turn to lava coil um wild growth walker which i don't really want so i'm i'm kind of leaning towards tristani immediately first River of Ice. It's a pretty cool name. What do you think of Naya tokens? Is that a thing? I haven't seen too much Naya tokens. Doesn't mean I necessarily don't like it or anything like that, but I just I just haven't seen Naya tokens too much. <laughs> it is a cool name. Yeah, cool. May even say that name's chill. I don't know, maybe I should keep the Legions landing there. I should keep the legions landing. That was a that was a bad to put that in the graveyard actually, because I forgot my my plan next turn is a Johnny minus get Wild Growth Walker. That that legions landing is actually just a, would be a great draw for me to be able to play next turn with a Johnny, um, and then it and then trigger the Explore on Wild Growth Walker. That's a that's a bad decision to put that in the graveyard. Because yeah yeah that would be a really good draw step for me honestly, and then it's also a lifelink creature. Yeah so. That's a mistake there, putting that in the graveyard. Uh, Beacon Bolt is horrible for me. Yeah, Beacon Bolt's really bad. Because that's... That kills Wild Growth Walker. That's the worst worst card that I could see. Hey, Sam. Doing good. Doing good. So you've been trying uh, it out with her Heroic Reinforcements. Talking about Naya Tokens. I've been having a lot of trouble with it. Oh, you've been trying with with hero also, hero and heroic. Well, what does what does green really add for you? There, I could see green not adding enough for you. Hey, Rev Daddy, thanks for keeping that sub going. All right, so my plan is, we're not we're not taking lethal this turn. That is pretty good. I mean, that's good if my wild growth walker survives. All right, so the plan here is is bait out the beacon bolt on the biogenic ooze. Gain some life. Stay alive. And then next turn I can play a Johnny plus Jade Light. And get a really big Wild Growth Walker. Dang it. They did not use Beacon Bolt. I haven't played Menagerie yet. Uh, we're playing that one up next. So as you see, we're going down the list. We're currently on our first deck of the day. We've had some incredibly long games against Sultai so far today. Bolt is a sorcery, yes, but I don't want them to kill it. I don't want them to kill Wild Growth at all. Um, so right now, Wild Growth can be like a 2-4, 3-5, 4-6, 5-7. Uh, yeah, it's just my play. Can I wait another turn? Can I can I wait one more turn? 
Yes, I I can do a Johnny a Johnny get Walker and Jade Light right now. Now I can. But then then they kill my Wild Growth Walker with Beacon Bolt and then I'm wondering what I'm going to do after that. I'm wondering if I can wait a turn and path a discovery Jade Light and then next turn have Wild Growth Walker with double path and then Jade Light with double path. I think I might as well. Yes, yeah, so I'd explore four times with a Johnny Jade Light. And then they kill it. Next next turn I, I explore six times. If I wait one turn I explore six. We could also just maybe find another wild growth. That card's good. I've been having success so far against control, although I've won some matches against control. Yeah, it's been working. It's been working out pretty well. Like the path, path of discovery with Wild Growth Walker is just completely insane. Um, it is so good. All right, so we got to gain two more life with that. Uh, with that token. We are putting pressure on our opponent too, so like, you know, we're we are fighting back. You know, they're at five. Five is not very much life, so they can't just be like super aggressive against us and attacking with these terramanders all the time. Because five is not a lot of life. Well, that one's a problem. So I'm gaining, what, 18 life next turn? Gain 18. We go to 29. They have 22 on the battlefield. But they have to block something with Jade Light. Maybe my maybe I should only be attacking with Jade Light here. I'm just kind of sacrificing that token for two two damage, but I mean that two life is pretty important. I am proud to fight. We still need you. And I guess they do kind of have to attack a Johnny here also. Otherwise a Johnny can just get back Wild Growth Walker yet again. So that does help help me out too. The Tristani makes the Militia Bugler lethal. So like we'll have like Jade Light and Militia Bugler as both lethal attackers next turn. Um, Wild Growth Walker is like this huge threat that they probably have to kill. Uh, then they, they kind of need to attack a Johnny. Otherwise I get that back. And if, if I go Wild Growth Walker back and then play Tristani, uh, with all the Explorer we get to do, it's just insane. So our opponent's in a tough spot because we have two lethal attackers. They kind of they have to have two blockers for him or removal spell. 
plus a blocker. Go on without me. Alright, they did have removal spell. Kind of looking for another wild growth walker now. We got some, we got some ability to kind of dig through the deck. Found it. Oh, and they, they have to chump with Terramander now because Terramander is only a five-five. I think we got this game locked up. Pretty crazy that our opponent has, you know, all like this these huge huge Drake, these big Terramanders, and it just doesn't matter. CCN. Thanks for the continued support for three months now, CCN. So I certainly want Conclave Tribunal settle. Ajani is usually not very good in this matchup. It was just kind of good in that uh, in that case there. Uh, Biogenic Ooze gets replaced. So I'm bringing in the other expensive cards. And Karn as well to m make room for these Tribunals. I think Bugler is my other card. All right, we're playing one more of these. I could play a Karn or a Knight of Autumn. Knight of Autumn, I'd be playing it as just three mana, four, three. Because four, three can tussle with, with Drakes. I think I'm going to play the Knight of Autumn. Yep, yeah, because we were pressuring our opponent. Even though I was like kind of chump attacking, I was I was losing a creature a lot with those attacks, but the we were still chipping away at our opponent's life total enough that they couldn't um just flat out kill me. If we were if we were more uh worried about our creatures dying and and didn't attack so aggressively, we could have lost that. No, I'd rather just have Vivian's in the matchup than Immortal Sun. Um, I, I don't really want both Vivian and Immortal Sun. If I wanted something to stop Ral, uh, Ral is a Viceroy, I'd just play a Spyglass. I think. Adanto Vanguard is really good in this matchup, except without without a Johnny, it's harder to to get Vanguard to be big enough to get through there. Uh, Drakes. Now the the two three body with Bugler doesn't doesn't matter a whole lot, and we don't we don't have like great things to get with it. All right, need to find land. So playing this over Adanto. Perfect. Yeah, and it's possible. I've certainly seen these Drake decks have as Kanto or Treasure Map. Uh, in them as well, especially after sideboarding. So it's it's possible they have something for Night of Autumn to do. Not necessarily likely, but possible. And if we're losing a race, maybe the four life helps out too. Never know. It's just kind of a versatile card. All right, no spell pierce. Dodge that. Zerf keeping that tier 3 sub going for 20 months. 
Keep up the great content, pal. Thanks, Surf. Thank you so much. Yeah, Drake decks play black because of Dispersal, so you can play the other part of Dispersal. Hey, Nas God. You're a maniac as well. Um, so I can go Branchwalker and Vanguard and Tribunal. And Vanguard's a good card to play next turn to go with Jade Light. Twenty-six. I'm playing Jade Light first before Vanguard because I really want the Vanguard to be um, a two-two, and so I really want the, the card to be on top a spell for a Dante Vanguard. I do not want to have a land there. So if this is a spell, I I will likely keep it on top. Oh well, that's certainly just staying on top. Because having a Danto Vanguard be a 2-2 is so important, uh, you know, f as just four power attacking. Just critical. <laughs> Path of Discovery has been owning up in this matchup. These two games. Bacon Bolt. And kill a couple creatures. It'd be interesting to see if they just they just play it again on the branch walker. Okay, they had a lava coil also. How'd you tap Conclave so fast? Uh for Conclave you just tap the creatures. If you, and like I tapped all my creatures, and then once I tapped all my creatures, then it just used the fourth mana immediately there. So if you're if you're using the convoke spell, I recommend tapping the cre whatever creatures you want to tap. Tap those first. Um, and then it'll automatically do the other mana. <laughs> Discovering old ways to beat new drakes. And of course, this life gain from Wild Growth Walker is awesome with um, with the Adanto Vanguard. Um, I'm certainly playing Knight of Autumn. But do I want to make it a 4-3 or gain 4? I think I just want to make it a 4-3. Don't think we're risking dying here, being at 22. Gotta love the Tristani. In a perfect spot here. Where Tristani gets to make the Knight of Autumn lethal. I 
Um, I don't think we have a good matchup against Zoltai. No. We're 1-1 one one against Zoltai, but the match we won, our opponent made a lot of poor blocks that allowed us to win. But we really shouldn't have won the games we won. And we 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 lost... For, we got... We lost pretty bad in the one we lost. It wasn't close. Like neither game was. So yeah, so I, I don't think this deck's favored against Sultai. But we have been doing good against Drake's here. A lot of it's been uh, on the back of Path of Discovery. I, I have not tried Esper Hero, Esper Midrange with Hero. I have not I have not played that deck. Um, I have a, like the Esper Angels deck I play is is similar to that one. You know, they're they're different decks, but it's similar. Um, and I I really like the Esper Angels deck. You just won seven zero with an Allegiance draft. Way to go, Bear Army. Love it. All right, well, we hit another sub goal there during that match. So let's go ahead and crack open another pack. I am, let's see, we've done M19 Dominario. Let's get a Rivals pack. Pack time. Hey, the Albin. Albino, that's Albino. <laughs> the Albino Cow. Good game. Yeah, you're... Yeah, good game there, that last one. Your your first hand was, was definitely too slow. You know, it's just kind of one of those things with Drake's that happens. Um, but Path of Discovery was surprisingly awesome, both those games for us. It was, it was really impressive. Paladin of Atonement. I remember people thought this card was going to be kind of good whenever, like, during preview season. Like, I think it started at, like, $3, $4 during preview season. I like it was going to be a two drop that was going to be really big. Yep. And my creatures being four power isn't something that always happens. So I was pretty lucky that that happened uh, with that. And that's that's what Path of Discovery did for me. Because without the Path of Discovery, my Adanto Vanguards get brick walled and everything real, real easily. Esper... Esper is the color combination of blue, white, and black. Alright, how's our hand looking? Oh, this one's kind of tough. Um, I really like turn 2 Wild Growth Walker, and you know, I like the cards in our hand, but if we can't cast anything besides Wild Growth Walker, it won't work out. Justicer's portal in this kind of deck. It is like a dive down in white, but also give you ETBs again in a bonus. Was that so? Is that card like? Is it just like single white flicker a creature you control? Is that what? Is that what that card does? No, my ooze. One in a white flicker creature, and then it gains first strike. I'd rather just be one mana than two. Yeah, I would. So I would rather just play a sure assemble over that card. Assure is two mana also and just gives puts a 1-1 counter on a creature and give it indestructible ability until end of turn. Because you don't really want to flicker your wild growth walkers. But then you also have the back half of assemble on Assure Assemble as well. And where you can have six mana make three two twos. So yeah, if, if you want that kind of card, I'd recommend... Um, Sure, assemble. Hmm. 
couldn't beat the final boss and sealed, but got my gems back. And then gave me a very nasty Rhythm of the Wild seal deck. Straight gruel. There we go. Sounds good. I'm just going to minus two the Karn, even though like that token isn't valuable, really. Because, I mean, if I tick up and get a card, I just have to discard it. And I already have, like, the... I had a land drop. You know, I had basically everything there. So, just empty the hand. Because Elvis Reborn was going to empty it anyway. So, I guess they're going to get Karn. Oh, they get Biogenicus. Never mind. That's, like, way better. Right, because they made me discard it. I, I thought I was like thinking that Baojenku was, was exiled, but I forgot about the other one they made me discard. Oh, Thief of Sanity. That card destroyed us earlier. Hmm. Well-timed Sky Marcher Aspirant. The problem is be getting through these Biogenic Uses now, and our opponent having four cards in hand. That's the other problem. In Bolus's Clutches. Whoa. Well, they got something better than a Johnny. A Johnny looks kind of perfect here. That's bad news. So is not that big a deal. We don't have any removal anyway in our deck. Hey, Dark Sip, doing good. I'm doing good. Hey, thanks, James. Thank you kindly. Took over that number one tier spot for the week. Yeah, first time, first time I've seen a uh, Sky Marcher Aspirant get in bowls clutched. Also. Mist dreams. With the sub. Thank you so much, Mistreams. That is sub number 27. On the day with all these uh, resubs. Oh man, Tristani would be great, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, where's our Tristani? Yeah, thanks, Mish. That's telling me. Telling me 79 right now, so. We got three Tristanis in here. We haven't seen one yet. We're halfway through the library. Never mind. We saw one so far. Our opponent could have taken the other one. We don't know. Cast that Tristani. Do it. Dang it. You do not have to fight alone. No, I would not get back the ooze token. See in yourself. But I would get back you. Uh, Biogenic Ooze, Shalai, Sky Marcher Aspirant, Adante Vanguard, all of those.
This is me taking... I can't take all of this. I just gotta do some jump blocking. All right, we just got we just got to draw Tristani here. We gotta get really lucky. That's not Tristani. Draw another one. I got five mana still. I got two draws. That's not either. So, while that is Tristani, our opponent, if they hit us with Thief of Sanity, they get to mill it over. Dang. I had the Shalai to try to protect, but you know, they just needed any removal spell, and they had one. Cool. Thanks, Dark Sips. Sub into the YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of them. Uh, most of them are, aren't necessarily decks just built today. So we are about 150 subs away from 1500 when we'll, I'll do another 12 hour stream. So we're. Getting close. Alright, they took the other Tristani. So there's one more in the deck somewhere. It may be one of these cards. We don't know. But this is our last chance. Uh, I guess it's not necessarily last chance. We're not taking lethal. Streak Almighty on the two month streak. Strong. Two months of helpful gameplay. Thanks, Streak Almighty. Alright, 2878. Where we're at with those numbers. We're down to 17 cards in library. Even if I draw, even if I would have drawn Tristani that turn, the f other flying creatures were tapped, so I wasn't going to be able to block the Thief of Sanity, and the Thief of Sanity would have been able to, um, would have been able to kill me with the Ajani ticking up. All right, so let's bring in our removal. Let's bring in Conclave Tribunals, Vivians, Shoot Down Thief, uh, Knight of Autumn. They had a lot of artifacts and enchantments that we saw. I don't think I want Settle. Yeah, I'm putting it I'm putting Takali main and Esper Angels and gonna try that out. We're bringing in all these cards. What 10 cards am I cutting? Everything seems like it has like a little bit of a purpose. Well, 
While Ooze is really good, it's tough to have all these fives. I think I can have like that many fives though. Um, I guess I have to get rid of a Johnny. Maybe she'll lie. Ah, I just kind of panicked. I had to hit something. We're about to time out. I just took out a Conclave Tribunal, though. Dang it, I did not want to take that card out. But I just had to hit stuff because we were down to like two seconds. Bugler I don't want to take out because... I could take out Wild Growth Walker, I guess. Yeah, Wild Growth Walker could have been a card to take out. I don't want to take out Bugler because it finds Tristani. And it, you know, it certainly feels like Tristani is incredibly important. Dakali says, not today, Triggers. Not today. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to try to try that out. Alright, we've had a real good hand here, though. Couldn't ask for much more. Now I'm just going to kind of look for a little bit more interaction. Uh, don't need... A Vanguard coming in on, you know, turn five or whatever. As we're playing another Jade Light and then Vivian. I haven't ever wanted to... I haven't ever wanted or needed to crack the Memorials yet. You know, the White Memorial hurt us once when we needed a untapped source. But they've just kind of been tap lands that we haven't haven't used at all. Alright, so they're at 11. So I'm going to play Tristani and, and be uh, more aggressive with them being at 11. Put them down to 4. Instead of instead of playing Vivian here, yeah. So, Takali's. Yeah, there you go. Code Monkey help you. There you go. That's a good good explanation. Basically that. All right. So they're just casting Spyglass to see my hand. All right. Game three. Tristani. That doesn't do anything. Alright, get that other Conclave Tribunal back in here. And yeah, I'm going to take out Wild Growth Walker and put in Aspirant. Maybe I cut Ooze. Nah, Wild Growth Walker out. Hmm. All right, there we go. Two Walker, one Shalai, one Ooze. Going with that. Uh, I don't think... Oh, I shouldn't have... I should have Legion's Landing in this matchup. So flipping Legion's Landing could be really important. But... Oh, well. It just triggers on the end step, uh, Fear. And it doesn't usually do anything, but it triggers every single end step. Like, at, like the, at the beginning of end step. Um, which is, like, like, right over here. It on, uh, yeah, it triggers every, each time. Duba resummon for the third month. Thanks for keeping that hype going. Gotta get some hype butts in. There we go. And Punk Boy RB as well. Four months now. Thanks, Punk Boy RD. So that's 31. We're gonna have a pack after this one.
Lots of resubs today with the um, with how they changed the uh, subscription thing, but certainly worth it. Certainly worth. I like uh, celebrating our subscribers, so certainly worth having all of these. Hmm. Notifications, I like it. Alright, uh, Path of Discovery and Tristani are the two that I'm debating between. I um, think I may just get rid of Tristani. Yeah. There we go, get that thing out of here. Hey Spanky, welcome back for the second month in a row. I guess the thing about Night of Autumn is it does allow my opponent to have a target for like their Eldest Reborn um, that can kill my Path of Discoveries, my Conclave Tribunals. So that's certainly like a good reason to not have it. So I want the land for Vivian next turn. So I got rid of like those cards that were not land and let's hopefully draw this land here that's why you just can't have tap lands in your deck it's just it's just not worth it just not worth it. At the end of the month, I'll reward you with a Twitch Prime out. Thanks, Dark Sip. Hmm. So they get to take the Jade Light, and now the Vivian is going to be taking Lethal now because we missed a turn. Still definitely playing it. But, you know, if, if we were able to play the Vivian last turn, we could have been ticking up Would this like turn to see what's left <laughs> uh, and had it, had, had it have three loyalty here. so it wouldn't die here. So just another way that that tap land really hurt us. Ooh, they got they got a path of discovery now. Not bad for a mouse. Oh, I should I need to change the order of those. That's fine. Worked out, though. The So, why is Thief so much better this format than it was last format? It's because it's because the, the cards around it are a lot better. Like, there's there's just um, a lot of good shells for blue and black now. I, I don't necessarily like just straight up blue black like what our opponent's playing, but the fact that it can that Golgari wants to is already going to be playing blue because of um, Hydroid Crisis so that they can have it in their uh, sideboard or um, Esper has gotten a lot of other tools along with it to uh, to pair with it. It's basically the other the supporting cast to help out Thief of Sanity has gone up. And yeah, Thief was a good sideboard card before um, in some decks. There just weren't as many decks for it. Okay, he didn't have enough gold wild cards to get honor guards. And I had three tide taker already, so I'm going to play with that setup. Sounds good. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that's what I was just saying about Night of Autumn. That 
I guess I probably should not have brought it in just to because it gave my opponent a way to uh, deal with that. But to be honest, I'm I'm pretty surprised they had mnemonic betrayal still in their deck after seeing all of our Tristanis. Maybe they just weren't too scared of that though. Then, yeah, the betrayal looks really good here though. Karn's just going to do nothing now. <laughs> Thanks, Fancy Pants. Taking back over that number one slot on the cheerleader board. So I play Karn, and I tick up, and then they kill Karn. Maybe I need to just try this memorial here. I'll see what we get. Hmm. Well, I would have liked those cards to be on top for the Thief of Sanity. <laughs> oh, getting punished there. Memorial is just like killing me in so many ways. Uh, I can't keep that on top because of Thief. Oh, memorial is just killing me. <laughs> Sly doubling up. Mnemonic portrayal is pretty sweet when you go like really long like that, honestly. Like that that car is that car is good. That car is really good for our opponent. I'm not sure what we're gonna get here, but we're gonna need. We gotta get rid of the flyer, and then we can draw. We could draw like Tristani, or oh man, just barely short. Dang, so close. If we had one more life, we could get another draw. But oh well. Hashino just started playing Arena a few days ago, having a blast. Here's to some great games today. Thanks, Hashino. All right, sub number 33. All right, we got to three wins, three and two. Real long league, a lot of good long games, almost almost three hours. Good long league. So even though it was just three, two, a lot of close, uh, real good games and everything like that. So about the deck, um, I really liked Path of Discovery a ton. I thought it was pretty awesome, uh, you know, with the Wild Growth Walker. I would like to see some more four ofs. I don't really like all of these threes. Um, cards that weren't too impressive. Honestly, Karn just kind of seemed out of place here. Um, I I don't think I don't think Karn is really necessary here, and and Karn's certainly not better than Vivian. I, I feel like if if you want like the the main deck Planeswalker, Vivian could be in here. But I think that this could just just getting rid of these Karns and just having an extra Jade Light Wild Growth Walker um, could be better there. Maybe even a Path of Discovery. Uh, this card wasn't wasn't too impressive. I uh, don't think we need that. Um, the Tap Lands, I would get rid of them. I would get rid of the Memorials. I I just don't think I don't think they're worth it. Uh, like Memorial to Unity being in our deck instead of Basic Forest completely cost us that game. If we just got to play the Vivian a turn earlier, ha have it survive. We win that game, and because this card was in our deck and comes in, always comes into play tapped, it we lost the game. So I don't think these abilities are, are worth it. Uh, Tranquil Expanse, I don't love either, but I'd, I'd rather have a dual land that comes into play tapped than the single color. So I, I would absolutely just get get memorials out. And Mike, 
Free notification day. Open up all those packs. Love it. Um, so, uh, Cryo, I, I put a couple hundred dollars in uh, initially, but, you know, I've been grinding for months after that. Now, um, besides that, I love Night of Autumn and Cyborg, like Settle, that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure about playing Immortal Sun with the Planeswalkers also. I don't love that. I kind of feel like we want to stick in, stick in one lane uh, instead of having both of those. Um, Bugler was pretty disappointing. Most, yeah, Bugler was pretty disappointing, which, which is what, it, what I've kind of experienced from that card too. But I, I, I thought I wasn't going to really like Sky Marcher Aspirant. But actually, I actually liked it. Uh, the games go long, and just one mana, two power flyer. Uh, I actually kind of liked it. Just having another flyer there and something cheap, where you get to double spell uh, with you know playing something plus it. I actually, kind of liked it. Um, but there we go. All right, that was Selesnya Bugler, or maybe Selesnya Explorer. I think maybe I should just call it Selesnya Explorer. Hmm. Not sure what I'll title it for the YouTube video, but I guess I'll have to start loading that now. Um, I just Celestia Bugler. Makes sense. All right. So if you're watching this on YouTube, first, thanks uh, for watching. And I hope you hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all the other videos. And that's going to be it for Celestia Bugler here. And I'll see you for the next video.